This street of quaint old houses contains a string of cafes and restaurants. It's a legendary culture. Once the border between the Church Hill and the Upper Town. This bronze lady, taking a walk under the sundial, was possibly the most famous woman of Zagreb, Maria Juric Zagorka. She was already a famous writer during her lifetime, but her novels are still extremely popular. That's not all, however. To see all the exploits of this exceptional person, we should go to the biggest open-air market of the city. It's the market of Dolats. Here, right next to the stands with fruits and vegetables, there is her apartment, turned into a museum. It was bought by the city of Zagreb in 2008, on the 50th anniversary of Zagorka's death. Now it is managed by the Centre for Female Studies, which promotes her heritage. This year, the centre celebrated its 15th anniversary. One of its representatives is the historian Sandra Prelinda. At a time when women were active in many women's organisations, there arose the need for greater promotion, feminist education and women's topics. Since the very beginning, we had the Female Studies Educational Program, which is unique. The educational contents are complemented by a specialised library about women and gender equality. In the publishing world, we have been supporting Croatian writers who write about women's topics. We also have the very successful Virginia Woolf Library. Zagorka also fought for the rights of women. She started her career as a political journalist, the first female political journalist in Central Europe. She edited magazines such as the female magazine Hrvatica and fought for the rights of women, workers and the rights of Croats within the monarchy. She wrote many historical novels, the most famous one being The Witch from Grich. But she also wrote detective fiction and one of the first science fiction novels. In the 70 years of her turbulent life, Zagorka became a role model for many Croatians. The English Guide, Following the Footsteps of Zagorka in Zagreb, will be published this year.